so you want to learn how to slay the slayers, huh? Well, you've come to the right place. I am going to teach you everything I know about slaying. No, not that kind of slaying. This kind of slaying. <laughs> and the kind of slaying that we're going to focus on today is zombies. I know, right? Ugly green bastards are what they are, and we're going to kill them. Why? Well, why do you do anything in Skyblock? For gear and money, that's why. So let's make a little contract out of this, what do you say? I'm going to slice this video up into chapters, here's all the timestamps for you. If any part of this video helps you out with your little slaying journey, I want you to subscribe to me. Do we have a deal? Great! So if you've never done these before, you first have to visit Maddox the Slayer over in the basement of the tavern by the edge of the village. He's been banished there for his many felonies and crimes. He gives you these quests to kill all kinds of monsters, really. And for these feats, he will give you rich. Maddox, what the f is this? You can't hand me this f***ing script to read, dude. This is fraud, and I won't be f***ing liable for this. You literally make them pay to do your shitty quests. Don't bring me into this, all right? It's not a whole lot at first. It's like just a few thousand. But don't let that fool you. As the tiers get higher, the costs also grow. And they become huge at the end. So yeah, zombie slayer. As you can tell from the name, you gotta kill the zombies. Kill enough of these green men and you will summon the Revenant Horror. Yeah, it's the spooky guy. And you can tell that he's spooky. Because I changed the music up on you. Well, maybe not in the start. First one is about as intense intimidating as a cute little puppy, but later on it gets more and more powerful. Imagine that puppy figures out that it has magic powers. Yeah, that's the final form of the Revenant Horror. The boss has five tiers, and all of them are immune to potion effects, arrows, and when they hit you, they heal. It is also immune to some weapon effects, so make sure to do your research before you fight it. Let's start out with the easiest tier of them all, and that is of course tier 1. This tier of the Revenant records 150 combat XP from zombies to spawn it. Since you're new, the easiest and best way to get it is through the zombies in the graveyard. The boss has 500 health in total and it deals 15 damage per hit. That is pretty easy to handle, even for a new player. It also makes use of a life drain ability from time to time, so make note of that. When killed, it will drop 1 to 3 Revenant flesh and also give you 5 zombie slayer XP. To make this fight a breeze for you, I just recommend you get an undead sword from the weaponsmith in the hub just enchant it with smite if you're having problems, but you really shouldn't. And make sure to level up your combat level, you will need it for tier 2 either way. And if you really want to overkill, you can just get to the end aisle and get yourself some ender armor along with a raider's axe from the forage aisle. For the tier 2 slayer, combat level 5 is the minimum requirement. You'll also need to get 1.4k combat XP worth of zombies to spawn it. This one has 20k health. It also deals 25 damage per hit, and it shreds your armor as its ability. When killed, it gives you 25 Zombie Slayer XP and between 9 and 18 Revenant Flesh, but it also has the chance to drop Foul Flesh, and Foul Flesh can be used to brew stamina potions and also fuel minions, increasing their speed by 90% for 5 hours. I give my minions only the finest Foul Flesh. Tier 3 is the point where the Slayer really starts to ramp up if you're new. The tier 3 Revenant has 400k health and it does a whopping 120 damage per hit. You really ought to be careful if you're under leveled. To start the quest you need combat level 10 and you need to kill 2.4k combat XP's worth of f***ing zombies. Every graveyard zombie gives about 6 combat XP which means you gotta kill 400 of them to summon the boss. So from now on I recommend either using the hub crypts or any of the zombie areas in the deep caverns. There's also yet another me mechanism that you gotta take note of with this and it is mini bosses. These are mobs with slightly more HP and damage than the regular zombies and they drop revenant flesh and give you more XP than a regular one. The one you have to worry about at this tier is the revenant sycophant. The revenant during the boss fight will have access to yet another ability. I know right, another thing for you to keep track of. After 40 seconds of fighting it, it will enter into a mad state, it's kinda charging up for something big. After another 5 seconds, it will enter the enraged state, in which it moves slightly faster and deals highly increased amounts of damage. This enraged state lasts for 12 seconds. My recommendation is that when the boss rages, you use the runaway. Unless you are certain that you can take a few hits from it. You can also trap the boss in the lava of the obsidian reserve to make it slow and dumb and more easy to kill. Don't you feel silly? Don't you feel stupid? Don't you feel 
a little ashamed? Make sure to try it out and see if you like it. For this and future fights, you should also make sure to bring a power orb that you get from the Wolf Slayer. When you kill the boss, it will drop between 30 and 50 Revenant Flesh, and it gives you 100 Zombie Slayer XP and some other cool stuff, depending on your Zombie Slayer level. A tier 4 is just more of the same really, the boss has 1.5 million health and it does 400 damage per hit. The requirements for it are combat 15 and 4.8k combat XP. It also comes with two new mini bosses for you, the Revenant Champion and the Deformed Revenant. Same thing as always, just kill them before they kill you, it's really easy. The boss has no new abilities at this tier, it will drop between 50 and 64 flesh. Oh yeah, it also gives you 500 Zombie Slayer XP per kill, which is very cool. If you struggle, then just use some of the Zombie Slayer gear that you can craft and like some Reforged Shadow Assassin armor to kill it. It's not supposed to be that difficult for you, alright? But what is difficult is the tier 5 boss. It's a whole nother kind of dangerous, my friends. It requires combat level 25 and Zombie Slayer level 7 to even attempt it. Make sure to craft the gear that you need and that you have a power orb handy. You will need it and trust me on this. In fact, the boss is so dangerous that it's not even a revenant anymore. At this point it has ascended the bounds of skyblock and it is now an atoned horror. This boss is not just resistant to the usual stuff, but also to some pet abilities like the Death's Touch ability from the Wither Skeleton and the Bone Meringue. It also heals 10k HP per second. This beast also has a strategic element to the battle. A circle will sometimes materialize beneath your feet. It goes from red to white, which ends with the boss hurling a block of TNT to the center after a brief delay. This big KABOOM! does damage to every person in the circle, doing more damage the closer to the center you are. So you just run out of it, alright? As the boss's HP gets to one third, it drinks an energy drink or some shit, making it even more of a hassle, because it doubles how often it throws TNT at you. Even if the boss regions over one third of its health, it won't stop. After 30 seconds of this, something truly horrifying will happen. A circle of expanding bedrock spread under the horror's feet. A funny little timer saying boom counting down from 5 appears. Nearby mobs will instinctively flee from this because they know what's going to happen, knowing the doom that it spells. Upon reaching zero, the atoned horror unleashes an explosion in a 7 block radius, so severe that even an endstone sword or mithril coat can't save you. If you're hit, you die. You are done! And you will have wasted all your money. If you're smart and you survive, the boss just goes back to normal. The boss has 10 million health in total and does a terrifying 2.4k damage per hit. And I'm, I'm just saying good luck to you, brothers. I have a strat for you though. There are some coordinates in the hub crypts where the TNT attack cannot hit you. So you just stand there to bypass that mechanic. Killing the boss nets you 1.5k Zombie Slayer XP, a full stack of flesh, and a chance at all of these other items, with the Warden Heart being the most lucrative. And also so f***ing rare, it, has actually, it actually has a 0.01% drop chance. So now that we've handled the tiers, we're gonna talk about the levels, what recipes they unlock, and what loot is added to the loot table at what tiers. There's a lot of ground to cover, so let's just get into it, alright? You only need to kill the boss once to unlock Zombie Slayer level 1, and it's called the Noob Rank, and it gives you access to the Wand of Healing, an item which will be very essential for you in basically all of your Skyblock journey. You can upgrade it as well. It requires 15 Slayer XP to get to Zombie Slayer level 2, and it is known as the Novice Rank. It gives you access to recipes for both the Revenant Viscera and Zombie Rings. It also adds Pestilence runes to the boss's loot table, which is pretty cool if you like cosmetics I guess. Level 3 or the Skilled Rank requires 200 XP, and it unlocks recipes for the Revenant Falcon, which is really good, and the Wand of Mending, a direct upgrade to the Wand of Healing. You also get the recipe for a Crystallized Heart. Reaching level 3 will also add the undead catalyst to the loot table. Zombie Slayer 4, known as the Destroyer rank, requires a thousand XP and it unlocks some pretty cool stuff. Revenant boots, Revenant leggings, which are great, and a travel scroll to the hub crypt if you're too lazy to run literally 50 meters from the hub. Smite 6 books are also added to the loot table at this level, which is pretty epic. Level 5 is known as the Bulldozer, and yeah, that is the actual name, I didn't make that shit up, I promise. It needs 5k XP to unlock, and it unlocks the Revenant 
Revenant minion, the Revenant chestplate, the Devourer ring, and the Voodoo doll, which is a really useful utility item, both for other slayers, but also for dungeon bosses due to the single target ticking damage. You also access the small slayer sack and the beheaded horror as a possible drop. 20k XP is required for the Savage rank, which is level 6. It unlocks the Wand of Restoration, which is yet another upgrade to the Wands of Healing, along with the Revived Heart and the Reaper Falcon. Even more stuff is added to the boss's loot table, in this case Revenant Catalysts and Snake Roots, which is very epic. Level 7, or the Death Ripper, is unlocked at 100k XP. It gives you recipes for even more stuff! The Zombie Artifacts, the Wand of Atonement, which is the final upgrade of the wands, along with the Reaper armor set, which includes a mask, a chestplate, leggings and boots, and a scythe. This is the final level that adds more stuff to the loot table, so it makes sense that of course there's gonna be a lot of it. Make sure to listen here, right? The scythe blade, the revenant viscera, the shard of the shredded, smite seven books, and most important of all, a warden's heart, is added to the loot table at this level. The warden heart is by far the most rare, with a whopping 0.0 one percent chance to drop. I can't even count that low, dude. All right, there's two more levels left. Level eight is known as the Necromancer level, and level nine is the Grim Reaper level, requiring 400k and 1 mil XP, respectively. That's a lot, and it's gonna take a long while for you to get that. Level eight unlocks the recipe for the Warden Helmet, which is where you use the Warden Heart and some other cool stuff to make something very epic along with the Reaper Orb and the Axe of the Shredded. The Axe of the Shredded is by far the best thing to kill the zombies with. Look at this, look at the stats! Level 9 unlocks the Reaper Gem, a pet item that basically gives you ferocity along with the final level of the Revenant minion, which is level 12, and you can buy that from the bartender in the tavern. Alright, that is all of it. So at this point of the video we're gonna talk about the setups that you might use for this. So for the first 3 tiers, Ender Armor and Raider Axe is probably all you need. If you're struggling against the tier 3, you might just get a dragon armor, whichever you want. And also make sure to get the silky power for your accessories, which you get from the f***ing Arachne boss fight in the Spider Island, right? For tier 4, it's a lot more difficult, so it, it requires some more stuff. You can either get like a 3 out of 4 strong dragon armor with a tarantula helmet, the revenant set, and like a zombie's heart or a crystallized heart. Weapons, you want to have like an aspect of the dragon or a revenant slash reaper falcon. I, re I recommend you also have a wand of healing with you of course uh, or a radiant power orb i'd say go for the bloody or the itchy powers and for tier 5 it's a lot more dangerous all right and i recommend either the necrons armor or the reaper armor they're good a giant sword it out damages the reaper falcon but if you have an axe of the shredded that is the best because it does bonus damage and the damage reduction and it gives you health per hit the Warden Helmet is amazing, but it's f***ing expensive, alright? If you don't have a Warden's Helmet, you can just go for a Necrons or a Tarantula Helmet. You can also use the upgrades for the Zombie's Heart, and in the way of pets, I'd recommend either a blue Legendary Blue Whale or a Legendary Baby Yeti Pet for basically good survivability. But if you're looking for damage instead, I recommend using a Wither Skeleton, a Tiger Pet, a Lion Pet, or one of the Dragon Pets, alright? And if you need any of these pets, you can just do Slash Visit Crazy Carlson and buy them from me. That would be pretty cool if you did. That's basically it for the guide. I really hope you enjoyed the video because I had a lot of fun making this guide and if you did, I mean, stick around. There will be more of them. Next one is gonna be for the Tarantula Broodfather and I mean, I make other Skyblock content too. Either way, I'll see you around for the next video. Take care. Bye.